Hey everyone, I'm here in Keyport, New Jersey. Elias just west of Hazlitt. Takes about an hour to get here from Penn Station and another 10 minute bike ride from the train station to the town. It sits along the Raritan Bay, a huge body of water. It's Staten Island on one side and Jersey on the other. At one time, this was one of the largest oyster producers in the world. And then pollution, overfishing, the industry collapsed in the mid 20th century. And nowadays it's known for its historic quaint downtown, fishing charters, seafood restaurants. Let's go. The area where the town is today was originally a large plantation that started in the early 1700s. The land was used for farming, timber, shipping, and oystering before being partitioned and sold off at an auction in 1829 thus creating the foundation for the development of Keyport. In the 1830s, it was a major shipping center for produce to New York City, and then in the 1850s, a boatyard opened on the waterfront, which helped to produce steamboats during the Civil War. Oyster farming then became the most dominant industry, and Keyport was nicknamed the Pearl of the Bay Shore, as the economy prospered as demand for oysters increased. However, after 1915, Oystering declined steadily because of overfishing, as well as heavy pollution. Toxic waters contaminated the oyster beds, causing outbreaks of typhoid fever, and the bad publicity forced the boaters to abandon their operations. From 1914 to 1930, Keyport was home to the Aeromarine Plan and Motor Company, one of the pioneers of seaplane aviation. They introduced the first electric starter, the first international airline, and their first metal clad plane. After its closure, the town suffered a long economic decline before rebounding after it fixed up its waterfront and began to focus more on tourism. Today, Keyport has become a popular summer destination for water sports, boating, fishing charters, and jet ski rentals. The town is also becoming popular with home buyers due to the low cost of living and the high number of beautiful Grand Victorian homes everywhere. Waterfront is Keyport's main attraction with parks, beaches, piers, marinas, and a promenade. This is Keyport Waterfront Park. It's one of the reasons why I chose to come here. It looked beautiful in the pictures. And coming here in person, it did not disappoint. Oh, it's so peaceful here. I love it. <laughs> it's a nice gazebo. They're playing some music. Some benches, a fishing pier. <sighs> it doesn't get much better than this.
Next door is the Keyport Beach Park, which includes a playground, volleyball net, boat ramp, and beach with great views of the waterfront. And a little bit further north of town is the Cedar Street Park. It has basketball courts, tennis courts, a baseball field, a playground, and picnic areas. There's a beautiful beach next to it that seemed like more of a local hangout spot, which is perfect for those of you who want to avoid the crowds. This is Union Beach, about a 10 minute bike ride from town. Really clean, not that crowded. Beautiful. <laughs> so glad I did this. Oh yeah, probably the last weekend to go to the beach. You know, so I figured why not go here? You can see the city in the distance, look at that. If you're trying to get a drink somewhere, I'd recommend going to McDonough's Pub and Restaurant. It's a lively Irish bar with a menu full of burgers and beers. They have a large outdoor patio and they also have live entertainment throughout the week. For great views of the waterfront, I suggest you visit Burley's Seafood and Steak, a laid back bar with American food in a nice big outdoor section. The Keyport Fishery is a storied seafood market and takeout spot that's been around for decades. It's housed in a former oystering equipment building and it serves to go soups, sandwiches, shellfish, crab cakes, and fish platters. The Rock Cafe is located near the Wagner's Twin Towers Marina and serves seafood, steaks, ribs, and sandwiches with an outdoor tiki bar in the back overlooking the marshlands. And across from there at the Keyport Marine Basin is the Up the Creek Tavern that specializes in seafood, steak, burgers, and sandwiches. Hope you guys enjoyed today's trip to Keyport, New Jersey. Another great day, perfect weather, not that hot. Worth coming just for this. Oh yeah. <laughs> the beaches, the waterfront, come on. The town is really cute. A lot of shops, restaurants, the seafood here. Amazing, by the way. It's a really quaint, quiet atmosphere which I love. It's just nice to get out of the city, right? Just feel the breeze. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.